Hey, what's up everybody? It's Rex here with Property Plus. We just finished up a set of floating shelves and I thought I'd take a minute and show you a little bit of our process. Um, I didn't actually get any video of the process. So uh, pretty much just kind of a, a verbal walkthrough here. Uh, so we start off, uh, this particular set is a miter fold uh, shelf. So it's plywood. We've ripped everything to 45s, did our miter fold technique with the tape. Um, we've got videos on that on our channel here. So be sure to check that out for more information there. Um, so we do our shelves at three inches thick. So we've got three quarter inch plywood. That gives us a hollow space in here of an inch and a half. Uh, usually a little bit bigger than an inch and a half because the plywood's not a full three quarter. Anyhow, so then what we'll do is we'll build a frame. So this frame here, all of our pieces have been ripped an inch and a half by an inch and a half. We pocket screw each piece both sides, so we have two pocket screws on each end, on each side, and then we build our frame. Um, so I, uh, this is kind of where it starts actually, it's the inch and a half here. Anything less than that I don't feel like is going to be strong enough. Um, so that's kind of where this three inches comes from, is from this inch and a half, plus our three quarter, three quarter to give us the three. So anyhow, once this is anchored to the wall, um, we like to use some ledger lock. Uh, lag screws for that. Uh, so we anchor that to the wall and just simply slip your shelf on over that. Um, and I usually don't even attach them with any screws or anything, especially not nails, but a uh, screw could be removed. But uh, we just slip them on, and then in the future, if they ever wanted to repaint their walls or whatever, they can just pull the shelves off, and then all I can do is paint around the, the bracket here. So uh, I'll give you some uh, shots of the install, and uh, we'll go from there. These are our preferred lag screws for securing the bracket to the wall. For the installation, we'll start off with our layout, getting our height marked out, finding our studs, taking some measurements to compare those markings. You went through with the nail just to verify there was a stud there. And then we're ready to mount our shelves. I like to pre-drill through the bracket and then run the anchors in. And once the brackets are screwed to the wall, you're pretty much ready to slide the shelves on. Another thing worth noting here is the angle of the drill while drilling and driving the anchors. You can't fit the drill in between the board, so you have to go from above or below. I think it's better to go from above to put the anchors in. I feel like it tightens this the bracket uh, tighter on the top side if that makes sense and I think it's just works out better um, than coming from below and here we have a shot of the brackets installed ready for the shelves and last but not least we have a few images and short clips of the finished shelves as always we appreciate your watching hope you found it useful and uh, be sure to subscribe thank you